Now, uh, I move to the, um, um, the programmatic access to, uh, to Sirocco. So here, a few dig um, small digression. We are uh, involved, when we, I say we, it's Orange Labs. Orange is involved in the, the MTF Cloud Management Working Group. Um, this uh, working group has been going on for a um, couple of years now and has released this year uh, an um, ES API specification called CIMI. Uh, CIMI stands for Cloud Infrastructure Management Interface. Um, so the uh, CMWG membership includes some major IT vendors, IT um, uh, software vendors, um, IBM, HP, Cisco, and, and so forth. Uh, it is worth mentioning that there are several European tel um, telcos involved in, in, in this uh, working group. Uh, Telecom Italia, Telefonica, and, uh, and France Telecom. So we have made the choice to, to, to adopt the CIMI API as a unified uh, API of Sirocco to provide a, pro a pro programmatic access. Um, here, um, actually, we, we use CIMI in a, in a special context uh, to, uh, to access several cloud providers. Uh, this is not the primary goal of the CIMI API uh, as of today. But CIMI API offers some extension capabilities in the form of um, metadata, that you, metadata that you can attach to an entity. And through these metadata, you, you, can, uh, you can provide some extensions and we can uh, cover some uh, specific multi-cloud features. For example, if you want to provision a virtual machine, you can, within this metadata, uh, specify the specific cloud providers you want to, to, tar to target. Um, if, not, if you want more information on this, the, the MTF the standard, uh, you can follow this URL and you'll find a, a downloadable PDF with a, the, the draft of the specification. Um, now, very quick and view of the uh, resource model uh, underpinning the uh, CIMI uh, DMTF API. Um, so this is a very quickly uh, informal view, it is not a UML diagram or whatever. Um, on, the, on the top, you'll find the, uh, the runtime resource entities, the usual um, suspects, the machine volume network, and so on. Uh, what uh, a system in the MTF terminology is an appliance. So when you see system, actually, you can, you can replace it with appliance. Um, a pattern used in this resource model is to associate a template with each type of resource. You will find a machine template for a machine. We have a machine configuration stating the uh, CPU, disk, RAM capabilities of the machine and the machine image. Uh, the same pattern applies to our volume and so on. Uh, worth mentioning also if you have a meter abstraction that allows uh, access to uh, metering information on uh, resources. And uh, okay, that's um, all. Um, okay, just to finish my presentation, I will give you a quick overview of the architecture of the Sirocco platform. So uh, the uh, management uh, layer uh, uh, encapsulates most uh, components dealing with uh, resource provisioning, uh, user project management, uh, image management, and so forth. So um, actually the DMTF CIMI API appears at two, at two levels in this architecture. It appears as a North API, so the user-facing API available to end user. It also appears as kind of South API at this level to plug cloud providers. So cloud providers will be accessed by the uh, multi-cloud manager by, through uh, a DMTF uh, CIMI API. Um, a few more words about, uh, on, on the right, uh, I mentioned what we call an image factory, this ability to, uh, to generate an image based on some input, some list of packages, some metadata. So here, we, we do not expect to reinvent the wheel. We, we hope to, to interact with third-party uh, image factories, uh, such as UshareSoft presented this morning. Um, what we can, okay, in, in terms of cloud providers, so here, just for the sake of example, I, I um, have drawn uh, four cloud providers. The leftmost one called VMM is actually a cloud provider that is bundled with Sirocco. It is not a cloud provider per se, actually uh, it offers the ability to, to directly uh, interact with hypervisors, 
uh, hiding the uh, hypervisor-specific uh, management API, so it could be lib libvirt for KVM and XEM. It could be a XEN server API for a Citrix XEN server, or it could be a vSphere API for, a, for a VMware, vSphere, and ESX um, uh, hypervisors. We offer uh, support for OpenStack. We offer support for EC2. Uh, we are working on support for a VMware v Cloud Director, which is um, a cloud order, which is important in the context of Orange. It's, it's, um, it's um, being used um, internally by, by, by Orange. Um, okay. Now, just to focus on the cloud provider side, as I said previously, the cloud provider will offer the, an abstract interface, which in first approximation is a Java binding of the, uh, the MTS CME API. Um, each cloud provider will advertise its capabilities at runtime, and uh, based on these capabilities, uh, request for pro provisioning requests will be directed to a cloud provider that match uh, the requirements of the user. Um, so a concrete example could be just uh, if um, if a user wants a, a VM with, a, say, a, a, um, um, an OS with eight core CPUs with a given uh, uh, power in megahertz, uh, this uh, request will be directed to the uh, appropriate uh, cloud providers. Um, capabilities also can be used for things like uh, here you have a monitoring service. Uh, it is, if it is mapped to EC2, it will be, it will be mapped to the CloudWatch uh, API from, uh, from uh, Amazon. Other cloud providers might, might not provide a monitoring, a monitoring service. In that case, this capability will be disabled for this cloud provider. Now, um, more on the technological side, uh, how uh, Circo is currently implemented. Uh, so the, it is currently a hybrid Java EE OSGI application. Uh, there is uh, a division of responsibility between uh, business code dealing with the CMDB, the Confer Configuration Management Database update. So here we use Java EE code with uh, transactional um, guarantees. Cloud providers, are, are, as shown in the previous slide, are packaged, are, are packaged as OSGI, OSGI bundles, and they expose uh, services they suppose uh, API, uh, their API as uh, OS, OSGI services. Now we make use of various uh, OW2 uh, technologies and platforms. We make heavy use of Jonas. This is our, our application server dealing with uh, supporting both Java EE and OSGI uh, uh, application code. We make use of uh, the Joram uh, JMS compliant um, message oriented middleware for asynchronous communication. We make use of the uh, Entropy uh, VM placement manager to, to place VM on, on host uh, uh, while uh, uh, meeting some constraints such as uh, minimizing energy consumption and things like that. Um, and last uh, but not least, the technological piece that we use heavily in our project is the JCloud uh, library, uh, which actually uh, greatly facilitates the development of cloud providers since JCloud is a multi-cloud um, Java library with uh, an extensive support for uh, a huge set of, um, of, of cloud providers. Okay, um, so now to conclude nearly uh, what, what next for Sirocco. Uh, we expect to have a first, say, stable release of the Sirocco platform by Q2 2012 with a, uh, a support for the, uh, the MTS CME API. Uh, Axes of, of work for 2012 include uh, first what we call automation of resource placement. So I've, uh, you have seen previously, uh, currently uh, uh, resources are um, user need to, to place uh, resources manually to specify which cloud provider you want for, uh, for, for each VM, for his VM. So here, what ideally we want to target is to, to, to put in place a matchmaking process between the requirements of the cloud consumers and, and the capabilities of the cloud providers. Uh, we want these uh, policies to be, not to be hardwired in the platform, but to be pluggable. And uh, we also expect not to reinvent the wheel and to reuse as much as possible work done elsewhere, and in particular in context with uh, the OW2 consortium. 
I'm thinking about uh, the Compatible One project, um, thinking about the Contrails project, and maybe other, other projects. Uh, second item of work is multi-cloud image management. Uh, so here we aim to have some flexible image management, which hides the, uh, the heterogeneity of the uh, various formats of uh, image for this or that cloud provider. So here we, we will rely on, uh, on third-party image factories, such as ShareSoft or, or, or equivalent, to generate some uh, cloud provider specific image based on uh, generic metadata. Uh, last item of, uh, last axis of work includes some um, work on more uh, cloud provider support, such as um, VMware vCloud, for example. Okay, so um, to conclude, I would just say that uh, uh, any contribution and collaboration are welcomed in the context of my project. Uh, the source code of the project is available as a, in the Forge, the OW2 Forge of the project. Uh, here I, I mentioned some various uh, partners who have been involved in the inception of the Circle project. Uh, Bill, uh, EasyVert, which is a, a startup spin-off from the Col de Mille de Nantes. And uh, we hope to attract more partners in, in the future. Okay, so thank you.